You guys want to see my favorite arm compound superset? Of course we do, Sal. For guns? Yes. For the guns? So, let's, let's uh, compound, so you're going to do what, buy and try? Or yeah, you... yeah, so a lot okay. of different ways you can use, uh, the superset you can use as a broad term, and it can cover lots of different combinations. You could do pre-exhaust supersets, or you do an isolation movement for a compound movement. You could do just two compound movements. You could do the rever reverse compound isolation. Or sometimes I like to do a superset between opposing muscle groups. Yeah. So sometimes I like to do chest to, to back, but one of my favorites is biceps to triceps because uh -huh. the pump you get is it's insane. Crazy. Like your arms just feel ridiculous because your biceps and triceps get pumped. And so I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorites. This is something the too. The arm exploder. There's a lot of this in our like MAPS Black. So this MAPS is- MAPS Black, Ma yeah. even, even MAPS Anabolic in the in phase, phase three, three will have yeah, some of these super sets. So. Right, for sure. So one of my favorites, and I like this because you could just go from one to the other. You don't have to switch weights or anything. I like to do a seated, Dumbbell curl, supinated, palms up. So you want to start with good posture, chest high, palms supinated. Up and down, you don't want to swing the elbows. You want to have full extension, full contraction. So I'm coming up and squeezing. Just the basic supinated dumbbell curl, right? And then when I'm ready to switch, I take the dumbbells, I lay back, and I do a dumbbell skull crusher. So arms stay straight, bend at the elbow, bring the dumbbells next to the head, and then extend them. You'll notice that the back of my arm One of these keys, rigid. why we're doing this anyways, this is a point that I want to make. You notice how your elbows stay in a fixed position. The most common mistake I see people doing yeah, where they're is they're swing back. Or yeah, they're doing this. Starting to get yeah. a bunch of shoulders. This is shoulders wrong. Are, are helping want, with that. You want to lock them here. Yeah, I'll and take just, like a client. I'll take my arm. I'll say, keep, keep yep. your hand. And just bend at the elbows. Mm -hmm. Totally different feel. That's it. This is a fantastic ver uh, version of a skull crusher, by the way. I love doing these even more than I like doing the, bar the barbell. I, I agree. Yeah. I like independent yeah. dumbbells for sure. So this combo, man, let me tell you, fantastic arm pump. Yeah. And there's something to be said about these, these, these types of supersets. I don't have any science to, to support whether or not they're better than other types of supersets, but I will say this. Arnold Schwarzenegger was a huge fan of supersetting opposing muscle groups, and basically uh, everything he says is true. So, well, when you think, of, <laughs> well, <laughs> when you when you think about what's going on here with your arms, it's hard to counter that. It's yeah. comprised of your biceps and triceps, and you're pumping blood into both sides. Right. So, no doubt whether the science supports it's better for you for building your muscle. Your arm will look you crazy. You will feel, yeah, you will, that, that's kind of you what will happens. feel it and yeah. see the difference yeah. more yeah. than anything Actually, else. Actually, that's it, the most important. What is point, interesting? They, they've done studies and they found with things like BFR training, blood flow restrictive training, is that getting a real hard pump in one muscle does have an effect on surrounding muscle groups in terms of stimulating uh, those growth carryover. Well. So I'm wondering if pumping over. both at yeah. the same time would elicit more growth in each one uh, than versus doing them independently. There could be something said, you know. It's an interesting uh, argument. Yeah. Right. Def definitely great, but also important to note that this is, you know, we phase this just like anything else. This Correct. is not something that you would do every single no. day when you're doing your arm workouts. You wouldn't and do this in a There's a lot phase. of people that get trapped in this, though. You because know, of the this, feeling I was, of it is so, oh my God, I got such a good pump. Good That's point. why I wanted to make that point because this is something, this is how I trained a lot. I was Mr. Like Super Set, Compound Set, everything, always chasing the pump. Uh, which we talk a lot about that the, the benefits oh, you of feel that. big and yeah, you, you, feel know, you feel great. I mean, you're rushing up. all this blood and fluid into these muscles, so you but feel you don't get the density, you don't get the dense muscles, yeah, right. you don't get the hardness to your muscles. And if you just keep doing this all the time without having the heavy straight sets, you're, gonna, you're not going to grow as much muscle. So, if you're following maps red or you're following maps black, it's phased in. this is phase three for you right here. This is a great place to either supplement one of the exercises that we have already in there or include this in their program. Exactly. There you go. My favorite superset, biceps, triceps.